That is so cool. Hmm. <laughs> we are Nate and Allie of Better Together Adventures, and we want to encourage you to get outside and ride. These might not be all that long, so I'm going to leave these the length they are. So here's the fun with the shrink tubing. See how wide that is? Mm-hmm. See how it starts shrinking yeah. up? Yeah. A lot of people okay. Just... So that didn't completely tighten up around this wire because it's smaller diameter uh -huh. than the shrinking ability of this. So what we'll do is... Uh, electrical tape it? Yeah, I'll probably just wrap a little bit of electrical tape around each end as well. We do. All right. A little electrical tape along the ends just for redundancy. There. And if any moisture gets in there, it's probably underwater. <laughs> I'll, I'll we might have bigger, bigger <laughs> right? issues then. Right? I'll try to keep her out of the swamp. Right. Okay. Here is the beautiful piece from a company called Eastern Beaver. They are out of Japan. So easternbeaver.com and they make this beautiful plug that goes right in line with your tail light wiring so we don't have to cut any factory wires and it has a pigtail off of it to run lights and this is what we're connecting our auxiliary modulator and lights on so a regular tail light will work as normal and then these lights will be mounted probably alongside each side of the license plate so a little bit lower and a little bit farther apart for much more visibility it's got a beautiful tail light on it i love the led tail lights oh. but this just adds another level and as we all know in motorcycling visibility is key so yes this is amazing and one side note with this is eastern beaver um, their communication is phenomenal we ordered one that was listed for the nc750 and it actually did not work the plug was wrong this plug is actually the one that I believe is listed for, careful that's hot. The Africa Twin. The Africa Twin, but it's still a Honda plug. And yeah, this is the quality on these seams. I give them an A plus, so. <laughs> okay, so time to connect our Eastern Beaver plug, which by the way, we are not sponsored by these guys, but uh, their products are very nice so we're not we're not afraid to talk about something that's made well um they give you three three wires obviously we've got our ground or earth we've got our this would be the power um i think that would be like the intermittent power like the brake light and this is for your running lights so that would be powered all the time well we don't want these lights on except for when the brake is applied so we're going to skip that blue wire so what i'll probably do is put a little piece of tape on it just to cover up that end of wire and then i'm going to stuff it back down inside this this nice tubing here so then all we'll have is our black and our red coming out so bit of oil from the rock saw on my fingers hopefully that doesn't oh yeah we have a um, we are also into rocks so we have our 10 inch lapidary saw cutting a piece of morsonite right now hopefully that's not picking up too loud on the video I don't think it should be no it's just kind of here in the background all right so we got that guy in there 
these heavy wires on this plug too. That's maybe, I don't know if it's a, if it should be a complaint for, for a nitpick or whatever. That's, oh, guess what I forgot? Heat shrink tube. Alrighty. I got our shrink tube on. Twisted these back together. And actually that second one I did, I didn't care for the way that was anyway. So we got that all twisted on nice and tight. And these, if you pull on them, they do not come apart. I think that's the proper way to, to twist the wires together like that. Prettiest, but get our wires here warming up. All right, a little solder on there. Okie dokie. Time to do a little shrinkage. One time that a guy doesn't mind a little shrinkage. <laughs> Not embarrassed about it. <laughs> right? Not embarrassed about the shrinkage. I was in the pool. Try to kind of roll it in my fingers to get it on there tight. I should probably just use the roll of tape and it kind of pulls against it. It's on there nice and I think it should have that sealed off all right. There. There is our harness for our lights. All connected, soldered, taped. Now we just need to figure out where to mount the lights. And we are run the wiring through and we are done. Yeah, let's get all of over here. Yeah. Alright, so we got Elva over here and now we're gonna connect her up. Well for right now I'm gonna get the tail light disconnected and I've got a little hack I figured out. The other day. Normally they say to take the seat off, take your handles off, take this trim, take the tail light apart to get to that plug in there. It's right there by my middle finger. Okay. <laughs> so, and it's uh, whatever they call those plugs where you push on the little tab and it slides out. Well, I've got this nice long needle nose pliers that I realize that if you just kind of get in there on the end of the plug so you can push on that tab. Oh, look at there. Ding, ding, winner, winner. Chicken, Chicken dinner. dinner. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. <laughs> All right, so here's our factory plug. That disconnected from the tail light. Here's our Eastern Beaver plug. This is how awesome these are. Look at this. It just Click. clicks right in there. Clicks right in. So then this piece will go in here. Okay. Into the tail light. And if I can just kind of hold on to them like that. Oops. Don't let go. Click, click. All done. It's that simple. Now, 
we need to figure out where these are going to run to, but for now... Let's test them out. Yep. Yeah, running these wires, which that's under there. The, the, we need to figure out where we are putting the. Oh, I never thought that you got to get it through. Yeah, we got to the come back through here. Here somewhere. And down. I'm thinking maybe we'll run them up here. Okay. Um So that's where taking this off may we may have to take this whole rear end. Yeah, this tail light um I didn't look up underneath here yet. Looks like there's a trim piece over this. Um, I guess that's technically a fender or whatever the term for this is. We can probably take this cover off inside here, run the wiring through, and then just come along the side of the license plate. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we are going to pull this whole tail part apart anyway. So your little trick is cool if you don't have to run wires through. <laughs> yeah. This one I can't get off until we take this out. So I probably should have left that bolted down for now. So now we've got our little our little stand. Yeah. And here it's got a little spring in the cutter pin. I had it off once when I was working on the... Is it easier to take this one off? Well, that's what I'm wondering. I don't remember how I did it. Maybe I just lifted this up and I left it connected because I do not remember pulling any of those little pins out. I mean, they're nothing to them. They should come out easy. Five millimeter. Looks like there's several five millimeter bolts to take out here. Four. This looks like it's maybe just the cap. Again. There. Click. And then these just pull right out. So there's those two guys for that. So there's little tabs underneath here as well. Those little guys. Um, right here. I feel like there's another. simple. <laughs> there it is. There. There's these little tabs that hang connect up underneath. 
So I don't know if you guys can see that, but those just come up underneath. So you just pull it down and out and it should come off. I see why. It's part of that and there's two more screws there. Oh. Good. Okay, so we finally got the tail piece off. There's actually six screws up underneath here. One, two, um, three, four, seven, five, six, seven of them. So these three we got first, and then I took these two out and still couldn't figure out why. Turns out there was two more up in there that we found out after we unbolted the whole thing. And right here's a little notch cut in there where we can have our wires come out and then go right around the corner here and across and over here to go to your Perfect. license plate. So that is awesome. Okay, so I just ran the, I ran our LED extra tail lights, extra brake lights, excuse me, through the hole that the wire harnesses come through for the blinkers and the tail light. Or the blinkers, excuse me, the blinkers, these are the blinkers turn signals and this is for the license plate light here so I just ran them put the extra brake lights through there ran them along with those wires and it came out that little hole right there perfect so that is beautiful we got there's just little snaps here where this just kind of clips together there and then here's these two here and then uh, we'll put our screws, our seven screws back in, and then we can bolt this back up underneath. Perfect. Perfect. So we're back in. Now I think we need to plug in the tail light as long as this is wide open. Well, I guess we can probably plug your... Brake lights and everybody in. Well, let's see, this is your license plate light. Your nice thing is these only go in one way. There's little notches on them, little knobs that only, so it only allows you to put it in. See, it will not go in that way. This way, it just slides right in and clips. And the, the nice thing with the turn signals is they're color coded. One's gray, one is black. I probably should not put that guy through. Let's get these wires all separated from each other. Okay. So you cannot mix up your left and your right, which I love. They've been doing that for years. All right. Actually, yeah, let's take this guy back apart. You just push on this little tab and it slides right open. So let's bring him around. There we go. Here's our wires for our tail light modu uh, modulator thingy. Here is our Eastern Beaver plug here. Clip. Tail light. So now we just got to figure out where we're going to mount them. Yeah. So, mental note, don't drop parts down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of fun getting those out, isn't it? Yeah. There is not a lot of space for fingers. I don't, I like to keep my fingers off of it if I can. So you don't get any oils. Actually, I might need that. Because that, yes, there we go. Boop. Right back. Stuff it down in there. 
Okay, so they can cut. We're set? We are set. All right. Ooh. Do it again. That should get their attention. Huh? Oh, yeah. Yay. <laughs> All right, guys. Until next time, get outside and ride. Testing one, two, three. <laughs>